I need to get past his stupid brick wall. If only there was a random TNT cannon behind me. Oh, there is. Hope this works. Let's test it out. Come on, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> tutorial video my second one and we are going to make a tutorial on how you just out so how to make a really strong TNT cannon so yeah just ignore that um so yeah uh by the way guys if you've seen my other videos uh, if you look at my channel I create a channel art finally it looks pretty boss okay anyway let's get straight to it for those who want to know how to create it TNT can. So, well, let me just show you how it works from a turn. So, it first she uh, loads in that, then loads in that. Then, as you just saw, when you push this, let me just, the water pushes the TNT over here together, which fires these two, which don't have any water. Then it blows up. And there are two, as you can see, one usually goes up and one usually goes straight like that. And yeah, so I'm going to show you how to make it. And I just got a bunch of spare TNT here. So here are the materials you are going to need. 34 redstone. 22 redstone repeaters. 16 dispensers. 2 water buckets. And you might think it's one from others, but I'm not sure why, but I need two for some reason. A lever, a lever or a button. Uh, I recommend a button because it automatically shuts. If you lose the lever, then you have to pull it down. And a lot, again, of one big, a uh, lot of any type of block. Uh, so yeah, and you don't need anything else. So let's get started. Okay, guys. So the first thing you want to do is um, choose any area and the where you are looking at will be the where the TNT gun is firing. So if I'm looking here, then I'll build a block here if I'm looking there. So I'm going to do it there. So if you want it aiming in whatever direction, you just keep one block there and keep a button on that, like so. Now what you want to do is keep redstone going like this on, on the thing, then one down, then you go one more and then you just split in two directions like so and you want to go one sec i keep on forgetting so it's one two then it goes there okay so when it splits you go one you go two redstone dust on each side then you go like that so it should like no no, no sorry go one more and then go like that so you want to do the same for the other side and then you want to go one out and then a repeater then another out and then a block high so one out repeater one out and then a block up like that and you want to do the same for the other side like so and you want to place these blocks i think eight times one two three four five six seven one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven times. You want to place it seven blocks in front. Uh, who cares? You can't place it, it's just a glitch. So, one is already done. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. You want to place redstone all along that. Seven. Same on the other side. And let me just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Okay, good. So now what you want to do is you want to go one in and place redstone repeaters. So you go, you place blocks in like that. Same on the other side. And then on the blocks, you place redstone repeaters. Make sure not to click it again. That's a nice song. Okay, anyway, so you go like that, and once you've done that, you want to 
place your dispensers. So you want to go out one more time again. And uh, same on the other side. So it's just a one block kind of pathway thing. And you want to place dispensers on everything. On both sides. Like so. So then it should look like that. And then in the pathway, you want to place, okay, so this part, you want to place a block, a block, a block like that. Place one water bucket there and another one over there. So it should go out till there, one block ahead. Just check. Yep, okay. So let me just turn it to peaceful. Oops. So once you've got like that, this part, you uh, pay attention to this part because it's kind of confusing. So you want to go one redstone out. Um, remember to place the block. Then one the opposite direction and then one up. So it'll go like this. Opposite direction. Then one up. And then once you've gone up, you just want to go to this, this side where you're shooting. Like that. And then you want to just place repeaters three repeaters so the repeaters you have to time them correctly uh, and I'll tell you why in a second so you just place one without clicking it at all and then you do two, another one and you keep it all the way till the back and then the third one all the way till the back and you do the exact same on the other side so bring in that one bring it out like that bring it up like that bring it like that it's just place the redstone one two three and then you place three over one without touching it two three like so let me just check yeah yep yeah, that's correct so let me tell you why that you have to keep it the timer because if because once you push the button, it'll keep all of these uh, dispensers, uh, keep the TNT out at the same time. And then if you also keep it the same time for these dispensers, then, uh, how do I say this? If it keeps the same time, then it'll go really far and it'll explode basically on the ground. And if you want that to happen, then okay, but doesn't really look cool. It looks better if it like explodes in the air. So you want to keep a timer. So if uh, if it explodes, I mean, okay, whatever. This is really confusing. Let's just get on with the tutorial. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Just follow me. So you want to place two blocks like that and two blocks like that, and I'll place a dispenser and a dispenser facing down like that. And now what you want to do, let me just look at it. Okay, so you can cover that up if you want to make it look a little better. And also, you need to place two blocks in front. Uh, no, one block like that, so it's like that. And if you want, you can just keep one more block out. Like that. And then, I think you are actually pretty much done. Yep, you're done. So as you can see, it didn't take that much time to create. And as you can see, it took a lot of time for me to try and create this because a lot of explosions happened over here. Or whatever. So now what you need to do is get a bunch of TNT. And you can fill it all up. Or I'll just get these 32 ones. Da, 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 da. Okay, so yeah. So you got a bunch of TNT. You can just keep some TNT in every one of them, like that, and that, and that, and that, so, so, so,
and by the way guys you might want to keep a chest with a lot of TNT next to it so it'll be like easy to fill refill and if you're in survival well you're gonna need to create some kind of mob spawner because it'll get a lot of good powder good powder and now let's test it I hope this works looking good yes I think this is gonna work there you go guys did you see how far that went let me just show you how far that went so let me just um, keep some repeaters <laughs> sorry about that that's my dog okay um, and then you do that okay let's push it. okay let's go 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 see how far it goes all the way over there there this is a distance so yeah I hope you enjoy that and I hope, I hope this is useful to you let me just try and get a better point of view as you can see one went like in the floor and then I know that lag and the other one went high it's always like that so yeah hope you enjoyed the video and by the way guys do not spam this if you're using a beaker don't do this and I'll show you why oh wait you can oh no you can't what the hell okay that was pretty boss uh so yeah if you want you can actually spam and it'll work so yeah hope you all enjoyed the video I think that was a pretty cool TNT cannon so yeah, hope you enjoyed the video for the fifth time. <laughs> Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And please comment if you want more of these. And I'll see you all later.